we're in the Piranha building today because it's a bit windy outside. It's a bit blowy. You could say that there is a veritable gale around the school, which is ironic because during the school holidays, there was a gale that was blowing through New Zealand. We had Scotch students at the first Global Alliance for Innovative Learning conference over the last four years, interrupted by COVID and a great opportunity to reconnect with a global organisation. I'm with Hannah Austin, David Albano, and Charlotte Triglo, who are all part of the team that were over there with our kids. So David, Gail's been around for quite a number of years. What's the organisation about? It's really um, a collaborative uh, group of eight schools, um, geographically diversely located around the world. And um, the idea is, is to get like-minded schools and students together to really, really share authentic global learning and to really, really give our students the opportunity to uh, experience. Um, and maybe empathy is a big word that comes in uh, as well with Gail, that to see how others deal with very, very similar situations. So you're not just involved with Gail here, but over the last four years have been the global coordinator for Gail, linking all of the schools together. What are some of the sorts of things that schools are linking in, in addition to all coming together once a year? Well, there's a couple of really, really interesting initiatives. The, the, the first that I'm really proud of is, is there's a Gail website now called Gail Connect, which gives students 24 seven access to each other. Um, well moderated, well covered under uh, student safety, but it really, really allows um, students who are working on projects, working on collaborative tasks to actually reach out and find out what other areas of the world believe in. And the second thing is, is uh, we often had um, Gale collaborations online where all eight schools would get together and one school would host. Um, and it was just great having up to 120, 130 kids all in the same forum discussing how those things impact them within their own countries. So the conference piece that we've just enjoyed had a hundred people, staff and students from a whole range of different schools. What were some of the things that were central to making that conference such a really good experience? Yeah, so we had um, the theme of diversity that sort of grouped everyone together uh, and the students over the period of that week were uh, listening to other teachers talk about what diversity meant in different areas, whether it was neurodiversity or diversity within the classroom um, or in the wider world. And then they came together at the end and they actually put together a performance piece around what diversity meant for those groups. And so from a teacher's perspective, I got to see these students come together and cross those cultural boundaries um, and sort of break down some of the challenges that they all have and their own understandings. And they learnt how to ask questions of each other and collaborate really well and also um, go and talk to the adults there and the teachers from other schools and try and figure out what diversity meant for them in that regard as well, which was really great to see. I felt a bit stupid when I arrived, I'll be honest, because <laughs> I walked into the, the conference centre where the conference was going on and there was this table full of people all wearing the same hoodie and I recognised two of them as, as our guys and I jumped in to try and play spoons and then I quickly looked around and realised that I was sitting at a table with kids from all the way around the world. What was it like to be at that style of conference where you got a chance to mix with people from way different schools compared to us? I think that for me, the biggest thing was the ability to talk with people that come from such diverse backgrounds, but we all have the same key thing that brought us together. And we were all there for the same reason. We all wanted to get to know each other and we all wanted to see how different countries kind of come together through this idea of diversity. And I think that the structure of the conference and the ability to just be able to sit down, there were serious moments where we got to talk about, you know, how different conflicts and world issues, how that kind of plays out in their countries. But we also got to, you know, speak freely and talk and communicate just about anything that we wanted. For me, one of the great things was the way that kids from different schools shared a little bit of their culture with us in different ways every evening. Like, how did that work and what were some of the, what were some of the big memories from that? Um, I think that a big memory was all of the dancers. Each country all kind of had their own way of showing their culture through a dance. Um, and I also think we made Chinese lanterns with the whisk school and I think that seeing even at the end when we came together with what Miss Austin was saying and we did the big performance, everything that we had learnt throughout the week kind of played through music, through dance and we were able to bring everything together. The, um, the conference rolls around in different parts of the world each year. Next year is in Peru. Super excited about Peru. Um, you're gonna have some unique challenges. It's, it's the first time we've been uh, in a place uh, very, very removed from actual, what I would call society. Um, we're actually gonna be in an Amazon rainforest 
camp that the Newton College in Peru offers. It was a great opportunity for the principals of all those schools to meet as well, for us to start to think about what does the growth of Gale look like, what are different sorts of experiences that can extend just beyond those kids who manage to go to these conferences and how can we learn from each other as different schools in different contexts to build best practice. I think it's a really important part of what we do here. I think it's a really important part of the way that we open doors and we understand others in different contexts and you know being a school here in South Australia in Adelaide also understanding that we're part of something that's bigger than ourselves so um, a tremendous experience absolutely um, yeah look forward to future generations of Scotchies you know treading that same path excellent thank you